The company started uh, around 2010, and the motivation was to try to address a common problem that has a number of treatment options, but nothing definitive, if you will, and that uh, problem was tendinopathy. Uh, Tenex has a mission that is stated and it directs our activities, which is to be the definitive treatment for chronic refractory tendinopathy in all of its anatomic sites and manifestations. Tenex has changed the way I treat tendinopathies completely. Usually we start with therapy, and if patients fail therapy, the book tells you to wait for 13 months, and the problem should go away. Well, usually the patient goes away, but I don't know if the problem goes away. So Tenex offers an excellent stopgap for me between therapy and open surgery. I think the big advantage of the Tenex technology is that we don't burn any bridges in terms of, you know, still going with a traditional surgery if this doesn't work. So we really see it as kind of growing the pie in terms of available options to people. A lot of these patients are not going to have traditional surgery, at least they're not ready for it yet, but they are willing to use the Tenex technology to do an ultrasound guided procedure. Percutaneous tenotomy uh, using Tenex is quick and easy for both the patient and the provider. Typically, we bring you in prep the area just with a standard alcohol and chlorhexidine wash, and then inject numbing medicine, local anesthesia, into the area. Make a small nick in the skin, and at that point, I'm guiding the procedure under ultrasound. Use the ultrasound to visualize the area of the tendon that's bad and needs treatment, and then put the probe right into the area that needs to be treated. Hit the foot pedal, and the machine uses ultrasound to cut and remove the bad tissue, put a Band-Aid on, and an ACE wrap. Depending on the site, the treatment takes somewhere between 40 seconds and two and a half minutes. The ultrasonic energy cuts the disease tissue, but it has a very safe profile because it doesn't interfere or damage normal tissue to any extent. It's also a hollow probe, so it, it actually removes the disease tissue. So in that sense, it's like surgery. Those are the features that make this a game changer. So if you already have a level of confidence to do ultrasound guided injections, for example, um, you have the psychomotor skills to do that, the experience to do that. The 10X technology is just a natural extension of that. It's a very easy technology to adapt to your existing skill set. Documentation is very important when you're trying to develop a new technology and it's a, really a requirement. The one study that I'm very fond of is from Mayo Clinic where uh, one of the individuals who actually conceived of the idea of using ultrasound guidance to treat various tendinopathies over and above injections. And he found that about 95% of his patients did well at a year. The other thing that we intentionally did is we encouraged physicians with different uh, specialties to document their experience. So we have documentation from orthopedic surgeons, documentation from non-op sports doctors, interventional radiologists, and podiatrists. So that indicates that the procedure can be done not just by an orthopedic surgeon, but by anybody that sees tendinopathy. My results are 80 to 90 percent success rate, which is about as good as anything we have in medicine. And the patients love it. They're very, very happy with it. Uh, they love that they don't have to have general anesthesia. They love that they don't have to have stitches. Uh, they love that there's no splinting. They love that they get back to their lives faster. What I think makes this technology exciting and separates it from other options is the fact that we've done over 85,000 procedures and there's fewer than 20 complications. So it's extremely safe. The term game changer has been used to address the product. I used it the first time when I was asked my opinion about it and it was just a concept. And I said, if it's safe and effective and easily done and easily learned, it'll be a game changer. And it has been. We now have a probe that will remove bone and that makes it even more of a game changer because we can now apply the technology to problems that we weren't able to uh, address before. You treat a patient, they have excellent results, and then they want you to continue to help them in other parts of their body. So sometimes you'll see somebody for a foot, and then you end up doing their hip or an elbow, and you end up doing their knee. Uh, it's, I think it's a real testament to the 10X technology that patients can immediately see that there's an improvement, and they want to know if this technology can be used in other places to help them with their pain.